Hello, welcome to Mark's Garage. I've come out to the garage today because on my lathe I had a problem when trying to cut a metric screw thread. It didn't come out to the right pitch and I've been investigating and I think I know what the problem is and I'm going to fix, I'm going to try and fix it. So I'll show you what's happening and what the problem is. Okay, here's the lathe and uh, you can see I've got the door open at this end and what you can see there are two large gears. Now this is very clever because this has a, a 125 tooth and a 127 tooth gear um, keyed together and on the, on the same shaft keyed together and um, that is the idea is that that gives the conversion between metric and English. So, and I'm using that term because that's what it says there, look, English metric. So when you move this lever, it goes between the two, across between the two. It's very good actually because you can select from one to the other, but what I was finding was, although my English threads were coming out bang on the correct pitch, the metric threads were coming out on a um, longer pitch than they should. For instance, the um, 1.25 millimeter pitch thread was coming out at more like 1.29. When you do the maths, one inch is 25.4 millimeters. So if you're you're cutting a tenth, a ten TPI, it's a two point five four pitch. When you're cutting a twenty TPI, you're cut, cut cutting a one point two seven pitch. So that's one point two seven millimeters, and that's one point two five. And I've just told you that the gears in there are one hundred and twenty seven, one hundred and twenty five. So that's the relationship between them. But what I found is. Right, this is my setup for measuring. Okay. Right. I've got this set to English. So what I'm going to do is just adjust that zero there. I'm going to, I'm going to turn the chuck till it comes round to zero. Put our little pointer on there. It's quite a strong magnet to be honest. So I'm looking very carefully. There's the pointer on that forward edge. So let's go one turn. There's the pointer, there's the thing down there. Well I'm coming round, coming round, coming round, coming round. So that's where I would say the zero is, maybe just there. And that's gone, yeah that's right, 1.27, 1.27 millimetres is 20 TPI. So there you go, that's English, right? Now I'll switch it over to metric. I'll switch it over to metric, that's brought the gear over to the other side there, look. I'll take this round to zero, another zero, there, will it miss the, so where's my magnet, there's my magnet, let's put that on there, oh, there, I'm using this instead of the chuck key because the chuck key kept hitting that there. So there we go. Let's wind it around. Now this should do 1.25. There's one millimetre there actually. It's coming round, coming round, coming round, coming round. It's already gone past 1.25. Yeah, it's more like 
1.29 I don't know if that will be focused there that's 1.29 millimeters now English is 1.27 metric should be 1.25 and it's got 1.29 it's gone more instead of less so I was having to think about this and those two gears so when it's it's 1.27 for English 1.25 so it's supposed to gear it down to gear it down that would have to be the 127 and this would have to be the 125 so it goes into the 127 out the 125 so it kind of loses two teeth every rev hence gearing it down now um, I'll take this off and one of my ideas is I'll take this off, put it the other way around, and it should gear it, gear it down instead of up. You can imagine, if that's the 125 and that's the 127, it will gear it up, giving that error that we've got there. So let's take this off and sw switch it around. This nut's got like a little d depression in it to make the threads tight. Okay. Right. Okay, there we go, look. Can you see there? That says 127, and that was the one that was this side, and that says, that says 125. So I need the 127 to be inboard and the 125 to be outboard, which is the other way around. I, I read up on um, lathes.co.uk about it and it said when it goes to metric it goes to the 125 which is this is the 125 look 125 so that set me thinking then I did some calculations and I thought mm, yeah that's that's going to give me that problem that I've got there's that little upset in the nut Give this a bit of a, a wipe out. This is all oily down here. And I, what I'll do when when I have it running again, I'll uh, oil it up a bit. It's hard to get this just right, but for the purpose of a demonstration, I'll just get it in there. to have it in that gear there. then I can kind of go halfway on the play there problem is it moves when you tighten it up okay that's got play on both okay that's got play on both and play on that one as well so so now when I have it over here Right, which way around do I say? That's the 127 now, and that's the 125, isn't it? So now it should gear it down instead of gearing it up. It's still t set to metric there. Let's, let's bring it round to zero to take all the play out. Zero. Get my magnet. There it is on the back. Put that there like that. You're looking down at a better angle than me, actually. So let's call that a zero there. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's see if this has fixed it. It's very often to get a reading within a thou anyway, but 
you know, with all the backlash and so that, that's one, 1.2. Here we go, here we go, look, coming round, coming round, coming round. Here we go. Okay, so what we got? Here we look, here we go, look. 1.24 and a bit. So that, like I say, it's it's hard to read, you know, within that much. So I'll just give it another little knock, and you can see it's very, very close. So let's. That is on the 1.25. With doing it one turn, I can't get it accurate to that degree. But it's certainly not reading 1.29 now, is it? Let me try something else. Get it to zero. Okay, I might, I might try and do this slightly different next time. So there's, let's set that to zero. So what I'm going to do is do four turns. I'm going to do it four turns, which should be five millimetres. It might be more accurate, mightn't it, doing, you know, doing that. Right, so there's one turn. Two turns. Three turns. that look see that look it's just short of the knot so I'm coming round coming round coming round look coming round coming round coming round okay so that's 0 0.01 in in four revs so it's as accurate as I can measure it with this setup but the point I'm trying to make is that that is much, much closer to 1.25 than it was when it was measuring 1.29. <laughs> I don't know why I've just took that off. Because oh, I've considered that to be done. So, there's the gears then. So, so the setup is, it idles through the 127. Now... You might think, well, why does it go through the 127 gear? The 127 is the conversion. Well, it, it isn't because it's an idler. It doesn't do anything. It could be 80 tooth, it could be 40 tooth, it could be 60 tooth, 100 tooth. It doesn't matter. It goes in there, comes out there. Only when you switch this gear across do you get a... Um, do you get a... conversion factor. The conversion goes from there to there, goes in there, comes out there, gives you the conversion. So what had happened was somebody in the past had took these off and put them on the wrong way round. And I've just um, worked out that my error was going the wrong way. It was going from 120, uh, 1.27 to 1.29 instead of 1.27 to 1.25. And the 127 and the 125 gears had to have something to do with it. And they were going, gearing it up instead of gearing it down. Okay. So there you go, another little mystery solved. Probably much, much, much too techy for some people's liking. But it's one of those things, isn't it? It says there, English metric. English worked, metric didn't something wrong um, anyway I sussed it out thanks to Tony at lathes.co.uk for having that wonderful resource there it's got tons and tons of information on lathes anybody interested in lathes needs to know that site um, I often go there to look 
I, I look at stuff on eBay and I see lathes for sale and you think, oh, that's an interesting one. You go and have a look, you know, and it's very interesting ways to me. It is to me, hey. So there's the lathe. That's all right now. So I'm going to lube all that up and, um, you know, that'll be good for some more jobs. What a wonderful machine. One of the best things I've ever bought that lathe, to be honest. Thanks very much for popping in and keeping me company. I know some of you ain't going to think, oh, that, that ain't very interesting, Mark. But, you know, you like to have these machines at your disposal, don't you? And when something doesn't work, it kind of, with me anyway, it just gnaws away and I have to find out what, why it is that it ain't working. Okay, thanks a lot then. See you on the next one. Bye.